Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. Last episode was quite good. Okay, I have three highlights. One of them made me tear up a little bit. Highlight one, the Kendaichi experience after the training camp where he was kind of like expressing a little bit of regret maybe or guilt and kind of like taking a little quiz at how Kageyama's doing. Loved that. Um, I just want them to be friends again. So that one was very heartwarming. Uh, was Shijo talking about the hunger that smaller players have um, because they're not like blessed with height. They have that like extra fire and hunger to like succeed. Um, and then like the classic line from last episode was, um, when Kageyama was telling Hinata about his experience at the training camp and talking about the little elf, you know who I mean. Um, and then he said to Hinata, but you can fly even higher. <sighs> Got a real tear out of me on that one. Beautiful, love that the boys are back together. Time to get ready for the spring tournament because like, Time's a tick in here. So today we are watching Haikyuu season four, episode six called Enhancements. Um, maybe it's, you know, the little tools that everybody has put in their toolbox after either going to these training camps or working together at Karasuno. We saw a little sneak peek of some of them, Tanaka's spin serve and his amazing pre-serve pose um, in some previous episodes. So. I'm not even sure if that's what it's about, but I'm excited thinking that is a possibility. So we'll see. Um, pretty much my shirt is my vibe today. I am feeling groovy. I am feeling Pepsi's tie dye. So that is the mood that we're in today. Um, can't wait to get started. So here we go. Season four, episode six of Haikyuu is coming right now. gosh yes this is what i've been waiting for the gang is back together love the bickering love the arguing love the poking fun 
back in our element and I'm just real, I felt myself relax so much watching that scene. So very happy. Um, Suga is like a little auntie being like, oh, did you grow? Like fawning over him. Very cute, you know, I love Suga, but he reminded me of somebody's aunt. Um, I kind of thought that that was double meaning. Oh, Suki, did you grow at your camp too? Like, did you evolve? Did you grow as a human being? Maybe I'm looking too much into it, who knows? Um, yes, I'm so excited. The boys are back together. I'm still convinced that everybody sounds different, but maybe I'm crazy. Love it. Dang, they are preparing. Okay, that is, they, Ukai is impressing me. I think this is his first head coaching job and he is up to the task. Maybe he learned from grandpa Ukai. Um, in order, in my opinion, easiest to most difficult serve to pass, I would say. Some, that's a good question. There's so many variables. But if we're talking straightforward, standing float serve, jump spin serve, and then jump float serve. From easiest to most difficult to pass. Just saying. Thanks for letting me know, Suki. He's gonna pass it because he knows how to move his feet now. Split step and stable. No. I mean, I guess every single time they've seen he not to do that, he's probably gotten hit in the face. Um, not on purpose. Except maybe the time that he got hit in the face against Shir Torizawa, but I 
I will, I will argue with people that that was not on purpose. Anyways, um, he did mean to do that. Still got blown up by it, which, you know, kudos to Kageyama for coming up with a great serve. But the thing that got me was the fact that he just got blown up, thrown to the ground, and then just like carried on. And like did not react <laughs> and just like went off like passing the ball. No reaction. I mean. Oh dear. Okay, can we rewind? Here I was. I still cried about it, but I think I completely misinterpreted Kageyama's statement of like, you can fly even higher. I thought he was comparing him to our elf, elf friend. Okay, being like, oh, this guy was so amazing. He was small, he was like the new little giant. He jumped so high, blah, blah, blah. But you can fly even higher. I thought he was being encouraging and being like, this guy's great, but like your potential is so much. Maybe he was just being very literal and you think, you would think that I know Kageyama well enough by now to know that he is like very like, direct and straightforward. I feel like he was just like, you can jump higher. See, the tone changes. I clearly don't understand Japanese like inflection, except when they're getting like very excited. But like, there's a difference between like, you can fly even higher and like, you can fly even higher. Do you know what I mean? And I think he is, he took number two. Again, I'm fixating on this, maybe, but still, I'm, I'm rattled.
Lopez. I'm telling you, Hinata's gonna be a coach. It's a freaking goody two shoes comment. It's rattling him. You mean your grandpa? <laughs> Is it the neighborhood association? Or is it Datako come to play? Yes! Oh, getting vertigo. The boys are back, baby. Oh, look at that guy's shaggy hair. Why the heck did I even say Neighborhood Association? Like, hello, duh. My mistake. Fuzakuchi! Aoni! Koganagawa? Koganagawa? Very excited. We're just gonna grunt at each other. Mm. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Mm. Great practice. I'm very excited. Mm. How much time do they have? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh wow. High tech Furukuchi. <laughs> oh dang, this is high tech. This is like next level. They are a very tall team. 
Dateco. I didn't realize, I knew that, oh, uh, Kogane was tall. Him and Aoni were the same height in their stats. Um, love the stat sheet. Why are they just starting it now? Um, would have loved that for all the other matches that we've watched. Very informative. To be completely honest with you, I was looking at all of their heights. That is what I zoned in on. I also really wanted to know the name of the guy with the 60s, 70s hairdo. He's new. Um, I got a quick peek. It was something like Oganawa. His hair is wild. And yes, I know that I'm obsessed with everybody's hair. I can't help it. So sorry. There he is. Oh, dang. Cover! Oh, okay. Well, they're pinched. So what you see as you progress and get to higher levels is setters train to use a peripheral vision to look at the blockers on the other side. So as the level gets higher, the ball control gets better and the offenses get progressively faster. So what just happened there was a bunch block. Um, <laughs> how do I explain it? So instead of everybody standing in one third of the court along the net, the two wing blockers come closer to the middle. Um, and so that way they react together to any attacks that happen in the middle section of the court. And then they go and try to react quickly on their own with the middle if anything happens to the outside. So because they were bunched and or pinched together, um, they were prepared to defend the middle third of the court, which given that Hinata was there and he runs such a quick ball makes sense. It also took um, Asahi into consideration because I think maybe Kageyama's in the front row, but if not, Daichi's not a super big threat, and then they only had one other person to worry about. So, building off of that, if you don't care, feel free to fast forward. A little volleyball lesson here. <laughs> Um, so given what I was saying about as the level increase, ball control increase, offensive speed increases, setters train to see how the blockers move. And because the offense goes so fast, sometimes blockers have to make a decision and move early. So as a ball is coming into the setter's hand, they are able to see the movement of the blockers on the other side of the net, which allows them to better isolate their hitters. So this will be a really good opportunity. Not sure if Kageyama will do that in this match, um, but as he progresses, like that is how setters are able to isolate their hitters and give them one-on-one -on -one looks is they like watch what the blockers are doing on the other side of the net. Got that? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Got very excited. Oh, 
ぶち抜きたかったんだろうな。つぶといやつ。気を狙いすぎた。Tell us what you really think. 絶対もっと日向に食いついてくると思ったのに。えっと、伊達公のブロックの取り方はリードブロック。トスが上がるのを見てから飛ぶ方法でしたね。そして陣形はバンチシフトでしたか。ああバンチってのはただの意味。Got a little ahead of myself here。真ん中にブロッカーが集まって構え、相手のどの攻撃にもできるだけ複数で対応するための陣形だ。ただし、真ん中に寄ってる分、サイドからの速い攻撃への対応が難しい。ちなみに、俺たちや今までの相手は基本的にスプレッドシフト。スプレッドは広がるって意味で。ロッカーがそれぞれ広がって構えるシフトだ。真ん中の速い攻撃には弱いが、少なくともどこからの攻撃にも確実に一枚はつける。スプレッドシフトの方が効率のいい陣形に思えますが、こうまんべんない感じで。まんべんなくか。確かにな。でも鍛錬されたパンチリードは、こえず。So looks like I just got a little ahead of myself, but at least we said the same thing. <laughs> so sorry for the excitement, but when it comes to talking about volleyball, I will never turn it down. <laughs> Kagama smile will never not creep me out. <laughs> Pantalons. Block. Well, this is the opportunity. If they are gonna bunch block or pinch block in the middle, running fast to the outside, as was described earlier by Ukai, is the best choice.、Um, just because, of course, you want to establish your middle and you want to get Hinata involved in the offense. Typically, in order to open things up for the outside later, but it seems like Datiko's strategy is actually the reverse: is to prioritize the middle first and make the outsides beat them, which is a very good strategy against Karasuno. Just saying. <laughs>
all-star lineup right there. Oh my gosh, I love that. <clears throat> Oh no, he did not. That was gross. I didn't like that. Oh dear. No, get out of your head. Nice touch. Ay, ay, ay. Tip, go, 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 go. Go. say when you hit and the ball hits the ground before you've landed from your jump that hurts yeah that means you got blocked real hard if you are still in the air and the ball hits the block and then hits the ground yikes that's what happened to asahi and daichi but i didn't want to say anything um okay great practice like Kageyama said, playing a great team feels so good. And it does. There's just, it's just so fun. Problem solving, trying to find those solutions. It's like, it's the best. <laughs> I 100% agree with that statement. Um, also, what is Kageyama planning on running? The back row attack? Like, I'm sorry, priority number one, keep the ball off the floor. Noya did that. If you can't set the person you want to set, time to improvise, okay? Set somebody else, but the ball is still in play. So what do you want? Um, yeah, looks like everybody's a little nervous about that statement. So very curious to see how this is gonna play out. Um, yeah, this is great. I was worried we weren't gonna see Datiko again, Obviously, we found out last episode that they were going to be back. So I am overjoyed at this because my sibling is back. Um, you know, you know who I mean. Oni. If we go back, you know, to season one. We have the same hair color. We have the same eyebrow situation. Um, although mine are there just they didn't have a animation tool that was this color for his face um i love him play he blocks i block we're family um okay yes give me more of this i will watch them play datico in practice matches anytime so i'm curious to hear your thoughts i am very excited <laughs> We're still like close to the beginning of the season and I'm like very pumped up all the time it seems. So you're just gonna have to deal with it for the rest of the season probably. So hit me up with your comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I really, really got excited about talking about system blocking today. <sighs> love it. Um, and I mean, as always, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel as we keep moving through Haikyuu season four. Thank you so much, you guys. You're the best.